Following a tweet by billionaire Elon Musk against Holocaust survivor George Soros, the words the Jews jumped to the list of trending topics on Twitter. And the Israeli foreign ministry was fast to respond to Musk's anti-Semitic tweets. I mean, uh, I, this is freedom of speech. I'm allowed to say what I you want. You absolutely are. But I'm trying to understand why you do, because you have to know it's got a... There, it, it puts you in, a, in the middle of a, the partisan divide in the country. It makes you a, a lightning rod for criticism. I mean, do you like that? I, you know, people today saying he's an anti-Semite. I don't think you are. No, I'm definitely not. I'm, okay. I'm, like, I'm like a pro-Semite, <laughs> if anything. The phrase, the Jews entered the list of trending topics on Twitter following a tweet by the owner and CEO of the social network, Elon Musk. Shortly after it was announced that the hedge fund by George Soros, the 92-year-old billionaire, had sold all of its holdings in Tesla, which Musk heads, the company's CEO tweeted that the Hungarian-American Holocaust survivor hates humanity. This without providing any explanation, adding that he reminds him of Magneto, the villain from the X-Men movies. Following the tweet, which quickly gained hundreds of thousands of likes, the phrase the Jews jumped, as mentioned, to the list of trending topics on the platform. Head of the Digital Division of the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs, David Saranga, did not hold back and responded to the entire affair with a long tweet. The Jews is currently trending on Twitter and is full of anti-Semitic conspiracies and hate speech directed at Jews around the world. Unfortunately, Twitter is doing nothing to address this problem. This reminds me of the words Niemöller that appear prominently on a wall of the Holocaust Museum in Washington. This is not the first time that a connection between Musk and an increase in anti-Semitism and social has been claimed. A report by the International Research Institute, ISD, published in March, showed that the average weekly number of anti-Semitic tweets on Twitter jumped by a 105% since Musk bought Twitter and promised to make it an arena of free speech.